So up to this point, we learn motion of an object on inclined plane moving along the line of the greatest slope or any other direction. Now let us discuss one interesting case that is sliding of a bead along a chord of a circle placed in the vertical plane. So let us make one diagram of a circle placed in the vertical plane like this. The radius of the circle is R and this is a wire, thin wire clamp along the diameter of the circle say this is a b this is a wire and a bead is placed at the highest point of the circle this bead can slide along this wire right if i release this bead bead will start moving in the downward direction with initial velocity zero like this if there is no friction between the bead and wire the acceleration of the bead should be equal to g, right? That is, this case is similar as the case of free fall motion. That is the motion of the particle in free fall case. Let us find the time of sliding of the particle and velocity of the particle or you can say velocity of the bead at the lowest position, right? Now, let us first find the time of sliding. We know the displacement of the particle that is 2r. Let us take downward direction as positive. So, displacement is plus 2r and acceleration is plus g and initial velocity equal to 0. So, let us use the formula s equal to ut plus half a t square and write the value of u, g and s that is 0, g and 2r. Right? Now, we can substitute the value of s that is 2r and acceleration equal to g that is 2r equal to half g t square that means t equal to under root 4r divided by g that is time of sliding. Now let us find the velocity at point b. We know initial velocity 0 displacement 2r we need to find the final velocity which formula should be applicable that is v square equal to e square plus twice as. Now we use this formula. Ko use karte v unknown hai, u ki value 0 hai, acceleration g and s equal to 2r, right? Now, we can find the value of v equal to under root 4gr, that can be written as 2 root gr, this is the velocity of the bead when it reaches at point b. Ab hum log Ek wire or be attached karte hai, but not in the vertical direction. Let us take this angle theta. This is wire AC. A bead AC ke along move karegi. Right? Agar AC ke along move karegi, you know, along this direction, acceleration was G. That means the acceleration of the bead along AC should be equal to G cos theta. Right? g cos theta kab hoga when we consider friction is absent in absence of the friction the acceleration along this line should be equal to g cos theta right now let us find the displacement of this bead for this let us meet this point to the center and this is the right angle triangle and this is r that means this length should be equal to r cos theta and this length and this length is equal that means the total displacement of the bead should be equal to 2 r cos theta like this right now let us take downward direction again positive for finding the time we can use the same formula that is s equal to ut plus half a t square so let us use the formula s equal to ut plus half a t square again now, we know S equal to 2R cos theta, we know A equal to G cos theta and uh, initial velocity equal to 0. Now, let us substitute the values S, U and G. So, this is equal to 2R cos theta equal to 1 by 2 G cos theta multiplied by T square. And here you can observe this term that is cos theta and cos theta will get cancelled right 
Now we can find the value of t equal to 4 r divided by g under root. This is the time of sliding of the bead along this chord, which is not vertical, right? We can observe here the time taken to slide this bead along this line is same as when it is sliding along line AB. जिस समय डायमीटर के अलोंग स्लाइड कर रही थी तब भी इतना टाइम था और अगर किसी कॉर्ड के अलोंग स्लाइड कर रही तब भी इतना टाइम है और यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर दिस टाइम इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ थीटा दैट मींस टाइम टेकन टू स्लाइड एनी ऑफ द कॉर्ड शुड बी इक्वल एंड दैट इज इक्वल टाइम टेकन टू स्लाइड अलोंग द डायमीटर राइट नाउ लेट अस फाइंड द वेलोसिटी व्हेन इट रीच एट पॉइंट सी अब हमें यहां पे इनिशियल वेलोसिटी मालूम है दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी नो द एक्सलेशन वी नो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट मींस फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेलोसिटी दैट इज द फाइनल वेलोसिटी वी कैन यूज द फार्मूला वी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस एस अगेन सो वी कैन सब्टीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ यू ए एंड एस एयर राइट दिस दिस विल गिव द वेलॉसिटी एट द टाइम वेन इट रीच एट पॉइंट सी so here v square equal to 4 g r cos square theta so v equal to we can write v equal to 2 cos theta under root g r you know under root g r and 2 is constant that means v is proportional to cos theta that means final velocity when the bead reach at point c depends on the theta agar theta ki value अगर हम लोग इंक्रीज करते जाएंगे वेलोसिटी विल कीप ऑन डिक्रीजिंग थीटा की वैल्यू अगर कम होगी दैट मींस जो भी कॉर्ड डायमीटर के पास होगी उस कॉर्ड के अलोंग अगर बीड मूव करेगी उसकी वेलोसिटी ज्यादा होगी सो नाउ वी कैन से द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बीड स्लाइडिंग अलोंग द कॉर्ड नियर द वर्टिकल डायमीटर विल हैव द मोर वेलोसिटी राइट That means 1 kilometer per hour equal to 5 by 18 meter per second.